Hey guys, what is up? It's Kat here. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me today for another long-awaited drawing time-lapse. Um, probably not long-awaited for you guys, but for me it's been like freaking forever trying to get this video out uh, and finish this this little project I wanted to just work on. Just a fun little concept piece uh, for myself. Just a little a uh, concept of what I think an unmasked Vader slash Anakin would look like in the Kenobi series, which I hope is something that we get to witness, uh, since I think that would be flipping amazing and breathtaking if we saw Hayden Christensen again, not only in the Vader suit, but with the helmet off, seeing what he's looking like this far out of Revenge of the Sith. So, um, as you can see, with every... <laughs> literally every portrait that I do. If you guys are probably familiar now from my previous time lapses, I always start with the eyes. Um, I really wanted to <laughs> focus on those those yellow piercing Sith eyes and get some of the, the redness in there and like the darkness. Uh, it kind of looks exhausted right now, but I promise it looks a little more natural in like the finished piece. But yeah, th those eyes were probably one of my, my favorite parts, just trying to capture the intensity of of Vader's glare, um, and you can see I'm beginning to work my way into his his wounds and his facial kind of scarring residual uh, damage from getting burned to a crisp on Mustafar. <laughs> um, this this part of the piece was definitely probably the most uh, challenging in terms of having to go from my imagination, which I normally do not like to do, especially when it comes to trying to achieve some some realism going on. I usually prefer to have reference imagery, but for these wounds here, particularly that gash on his like forehead, it I just really was kind of winging it <laughs> and just trying to have fun with it. There are some reference images of an unmasked Vader, but they're usually typically him when he's much older. And so I didn't have much to go off of in terms of what his his residual wounds are still looking like, only, you know, less than 10 years out of Revenge of the Sith, but I'm assuming that there was still, you know, it takes a while to heal, probably, <laughs> so I maybe got a little carried away, but you guys know if you've checked out more of my art, I am very interested in that anatomical type of stuff, so that's half of the reason I wanted to do an attempt at what a concept of an unmasked Vader would look like because I knew that he would probably have a lot, you know, still going on uh, in terms of his his scarring and his wounds. So I was excited to to try it out, but after I had gotten started, I was like, oh man, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's starting to come together a little bit more here. Again, I have literally, I, I, I need to do better at keeping track of how many hours it takes me to make these. I just I just watch a lot of Netflix while I do it and I just lose track of time so um, maybe the next one I'll try to clock clock how many hours it took but I really wanted to take the time to make this piece make this piece good um, and worthy of my stamp of approval I guess <laughs> but yeah as you can see this this other piece of paper over here on underneath my right hand uh, it's kind of annoying for the sake of showing you a drawing time lapse so you can literally see my progress of the drawing and this other paper is just covering half the face the majority of the time but um, I keep that there so that it doesn't um, the colored pencil doesn't smudge or that my hand isn't kind of like continuously dragging uh, along the colors and the pencil. Colored pencil as a medium doesn't smudge that easily, but um, with continuous friction and, and kind of, you know, my hand being on the paper, it would definitely start to, my hand would definitely start to pick some of that up and I didn't want that. So that's what that paper is doing there. And as you can see, there's like squiggles and stuff. Um, <laughs> that's just sometimes if the if the pencil gets gets wonky or you know how sometimes you need to just like scribble a pen to bring it back to life um that's kind of the other reason i have that that scrap piece of paper there to correct the wax if it's being weird or stubborn or sometimes you know it just reaches a weird a weird little break where it decides to not work and you gotta give it give it a little push but 
Yes, as we can see now, I'm finally moving on to the helmet, which honestly, by this point, I was ready to just be hashtag done with it. Um, and the helmet is obviously not as exciting as the rest of the portrait, you know, the, the colors and stuff that I got to play around with in his face and his, in his wounds. So, um, I don't know. I don't want to say I rushed this part, but I was definitely starting to just want it to be finished. And of course, there's a plane flying over right now. It's fine. Anyway... Uh, but yeah, we're nearing the end here, so I hope that you guys will enjoy the finished product. I'll let you go watch the rest of the time lapse. There will probably be prints available for this if, if you're interested in that. Uh, the link to my website, as always, is in the description of this video. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think, and may the force be with you guys always.